have a look at this. Just 759 votes separating the two Atlanta mayoral candidates. Keisha Lance Bottoms has your lead right now. Mary Norwood says that she would like a recount. Channel 2's Dave Huddleston live in Midtown Atlanta. So, Dave, our political, uh, political experts are telling you that races are seldom overturned when you're talking about a, a gulf of this many votes. Yeah, I talked to those two political analysts today, and they both say the same thing. It may not seem like a lot, but 759 votes is a lot when you're talking about trying to overturn an election. They say it is going to be an uphill battle for Mary Norwood. It's certainly possible, but the majority of the ballots are tabulated electronically, either uh, by advanced voting when you're voting in person at the tablet or on Election Day, and those very seldom change columns. Another interesting little tabloid uh, tab uh, factoid here is that in 2009, Mary Norwood lost to Kasim Reed by 719 votes. Reporting live from Midtown, Dave Huddleston, Channel 2 Action News. All right, Dave, appreciate that. We'll be watching it very closely. And we do have more details. Mary Norwood lost the Atlanta's mayor race eight years ago in 2009 by almost the same margin. Kasim Reed defeated her then. With 714 votes, Norwood recently told us she always suspected voter fraud in that election. She just said that this month, two weeks ago. She broke her silence about those concerns with us for the first time. Now, Mayor Reed says Norwood should have challenged the results back then in 2009.